Yep. So we just ensure that all parts are there, all four parts of the fascia. Remove the uh, control panel door out of the way. Then you start from your right hand side, inserting it underneath to attach it by doing up the screws. Right, so we want to be able to just adjust the fascia like so. Then over to the left side, you have two sets of wires. You have a long and a short. So a long and a short. The short side goes up to the fascia over temperature switch. So there's no correct, incorrect way to put them in. You just put them on like so. The, the longer set go into the firebox and we'll come to that. Yep, so all we're doing is we grab the fascia from both sides, ensuring you line up with the slots provided into the firebox. And down it goes. So when we slide it down, we want to make sure the wire does not does clear the firebox by putting it in like so. And then slotting it down so the cable is free. So by removing both control panel screws to get access to connect your fascia switch. So with your fascia wire, ensure that it goes through the gap and through the back of the leg where the hole is. Okay. Ensure you're clearing the hooks or the pins. So what we have here, we have a, a black wire by itself. With the fascia switch one, you have black wire there and black wire with white trace. Connect the black to black wire, leaving the black with white trace disconnected. Then, with your black with white trace, connect to the bottom part of the valve, the TPTH, at the rear. TPTH. And leaving the central ones empty. You want to put the names in. Yep. And that's a little... So ensure once you've done all the connections, just a quick test with the switch, flick it on. And happy heating. And then we flick off the fascia switch to reinsert the control panel door. Control panel screws too tight either. Okay, sorry, just uh, take that screw. Okay, Damon. So with installing a remote control system, we want to dis system, we want to disable the fascia switch by using the supplied connector block, disconnect both from the switch and connect together. Okay. So after inserting the batteries into your ProFlame remote control system, you should have had three packages, one containing the remote control, the receiver and the wiring loom. By disconnecting the adapter we've just connected, like so, putting the other adapter on, getting your wiring loom and connecting them up. And the end of the wiring loom that connects into the back of the receiver pokes through the hole. So with the receiver cable, it can only go in one way Like so. Then insert into the hole. So by inserting the two screws on the left and right hand side to secure the receiver box.
So by pressing the program button and on on the remote control at the same time, you'll hear an audible beep to say it's connected. By inserting the toggle, also put that to the far right. Yeah. Control panel, uh, re receiver panel, control receiver. cover. With the two black screws provided, Done. So pressing the power button on the remote control, off you go. By turning off, press the same button. So with the SkyTech remote control system, you, you wire it up exactly the same as the Pro Flame, as opposed to the green and white wire. They're two black ones and they just connect into the same spot that you connect the green and white.